and welcome back to the Renegade Gamers channel. I am the Renegade Gamer, and we are playing Valkyria Chronicles 4 Blind. Uh, let's see, in our last episode, we did a Captain the Squad. Now, off screen, I was able to A rank that. And I'm here to tell you, that shit was not easy at all. <laughs> um, that took me quite a few tur turns, but I finally got it done. So, anyway. We are now going to continue with the story. When we last left off in the story, uh, we saw a little girl in uh, the engine room. And so now we're fixing to do the Sea Fortress with the future of uh, Cygnus. So anyway, let's get started. Y'all ready? Let's go. So this is her. She really is... I just don't know anymore. What am I supposed to do? What do I want to do? I can't take this anymore. Someone please, stop me. Oh, Kai, I didn't know you were in here. How does she look? Has she woken up at all? No. I'd better go. I've got something I need to do. So does Kai know who this girl is exactly? Or what she is? I have my own suspicions, but I'm not 100% sure. Seriously, is she okay? She seems really out of it. I'm back, Kai. Thanks for keeping an eye on... Well, this is quite a crowd. Are you all here to visit the Sleeping Beauty? Doctor, has she not woken up yet? I'm afraid she's been unconscious since you brought her in. No signs of injury or atrophy, though. She looks fairly young. She might be exhausted simply from the stress of stowing away on a military ship. I recommend we let her rest for a little while longer. A stowaway, huh? I wonder if she's one of the civilians we had on board. I don't think so, uh... Quad, I got a sneaking suspicion that she may be the weapon, but I don't, I'm not hey, sure. What's that supposed to mean? I counted on myself. 21 on and 21 off. You think she's been here all by herself ever since we dropped off those refugees? I don't know. We'll have to ask her when she wakes up. Hmm. Whatever the case, we have no idea why she's on board. The captain will have to talk to her. Or interrogate her. Interrogation? She's a little girl. We don't have a choice. We know someone leaked our cruiser's route to the enemy. You think this girl's an Imperial spy? You're joking. I don't think that's the case, because I'm pretty sure it's Kai that's been leaking. Not to worry. I'll look after her during the questioning. I won't let her come to any harm. If you say so, Doctor. By the way, it feels like we haven't been picking up speed. How are the engines doing? Not good. The main reactor has completely shut down. Really? Interesting. The Navy guys are all doom and gloom, too. Talking about how the mission's gonna be impossible like this. Bunch of wusses. Don't be so hard on them. They know the ship and its limits better than you do, after all. To be quite honest, I feel the same way. At this rate, I highly doubt we can complete the mission as planned. You too, Doc? No, I must be serious, then. <sighs> An ocean base. Okay, so let's see where this goes. We're out of the crevasse. The Centurions set a new course for our destination. But our main reactors are still disabled. The ship can barely maintain a third of its maximum speed. The Sea Fortress is in our way too. Closing in. An 
Imperial base on the Crystal Sea with unbreakable fortifications. Countless artillery emplacements. Captain Morgan knows the risks. Nevertheless, he set a course for the fort instead of bypassing it. No one on board can say for sure whether the Centurion will make it past its so-called unbreakable defenses. And even if we do, will we have enough left in us to make it to the capital? We're short on supplies, on manpower. I can tell everyone's thinking the same thing. This is our last chance to turn back. There'll be no turning back. We are marching straight into this fight. Whatever it is. <laughs> uh, Command of the Sea. We can't keep this up much longer. How can we get through when we're moving at a crawl? <laughs> Look at him now. They sure talked a big game back when we just set off, huh? I think the doctor had a point, though. They have a far better grasp of naval warfare and the ship's capabilities than we do. They probably know better than anyone how risky it is to launch an attack like this. Come on, don't tell me you guys are backing down, too. We didn't lose that many people and go through all that crap just to quit now, right? No, we didn't. We want to push forward. We did it so we can wipe out those imp bastards. You know that, right? We can't just give up. Because that's the Raz way. <sighs> Raz, to tell you the truth, I agree with the doctor. What? This isn't just risky. It might be impossible. I even spoke out against the captain's decision to keep going. But... I've already made up my mind. I've decided to fight to the very end. With the Centurion and everyone on it. Good for you. I won't let them sink this ship. We're going to reach the capital. We will make Operation Cygnus a success. Cygnus. Okay, that's how you pronounce it. I forgot how you pronounced it. We've sacrificed too many friends to give up now. Uh, in our squad, we still haven't lost anyone. Squad F, yes, you're, you're right. <laughs> ha, that's good enough for me. We got this, Claude. Still, there's no denying the situation has the crew uneasy. With morale this low, it'll be hard to fight as a team. We'll make it through somehow. Who cares about those spineless Navy jellyfish? We're Rangers, and we... Raz, we need those spineless navy jellyfish, okay? They're the ones transporting us. No, we can't do this alone. We're in the middle of the Crystal Sea. If we want this to work, we're gonna need their skills. Exactly. We have to unite as one. Otherwise, we'll never make it across the ice. Unite, huh? So what's your plan? We're going to do another mock battle? Can we kick the Navy's ass again? <laughs> we might just have to go around one by one and try to lift their spirits ourselves. And we want to take down the Empire. That's true for all of us. God, this is going to be a real pain in the ass. Oh, well. Not like I've got anything better to do. I'll help you. All right, Raz. I'll talk to the female soldiers then. I can probably relate to them better than you guys. I don't know. I'm pretty good at relating to females. Just not really good at getting them to go out with me, but I am good at relating to them. Alright. Actually, it's more because I'm never around, so I don't really bother. But anyway, Courage of the Land. To reach the Imperial Capital, We'll have to find some way past the fort with minimal losses. That means it's more important than ever to be prepared. I, I'm curious, do you like, uh, dream up your strategies while you're drinking, dude? I'm sorry, I will never let it go, his name's Captain Morgan. About that, Captain. I'm sorry to report that the crew's starting to get uneasy. No shit. As it stands... 
trying to push past the sea fortress would be incredibly reckless. You think? Even then, we might not be able to take the capital. Some think we should retreat while we still can. Never retreat! Never surrender! It's just rumblings for now. But if morale dips any lower, mutiny may not be far off. Ah. Uh. I can certainly understand that position. This must look dire indeed to the rank and file. But loose lips sink ships. We cannot disclose our plan. Agreed, sir. But for now, we need to resolve this before it becomes a crisis. You need a wind that's pretty big. And I'll help raise morale. I heard an interesting piece of information myself, you know. And what would that be, sir? A small group has been lifting spirits through the ship, attempting to convince the dissidents one by one. Who would attempt? I'm sure you can guess. It's Squad E. <laughs> I propose we give Mr. Claude Wallace a chance to find a satisfactory resolution. Leave the heavy lifting to those who are young and on their first pair of legs. As for an old sailor like me, well... Back to the bottle! I will wait and see. See? He's gonna go back to the bottle! <laughs> <coughs> God, you look so you know, deep in thought. The edge of earth and water. Okay, so here we go. Press, Riley. Oh, hey, Claude. How'd it go? Not great. Everyone's fear is getting the best of them. So what if we have to go hungry for a while? We've eaten grass, frogs. We can manage, can't we? It's a different mindset here. We can adapt on land, but out at sea, our fate is tied to the ships. Yep, sure I don't is. I think that's going to help convince them. Well, fine. If those chump buckets don't like it, they can take a long walk off a short plank. Damn, Raz. Losing manpower would hurt our chances even more. I know that, damn it! But everyone here wants to take down the Empire. We're united by that much, right? What the hell? Why aren't they listening to us? Oh, hey. Where's Kai? I asked if she wanted to help, but she seemed really... I don't know... Distracted? She said something about having to do rifle maintenance and to go on without her. Damn it! We're trying to convince hundreds of people here. She may be cranky, but we could use the help. She's been acting really weird lately. Kai's probably dealing with her own issues. Whatever is going on with her, we still have work to do. Come on, Raz. <sighs> yeah, all right. I'm coming. <sighs> what can we do? Damn you, Claude. Wow, that's like the first scene I've seen Minerva in this plot in a while. I hope I did not leave them in the... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to check something real fast. Because we did the swimsuit episode uh, a couple episodes ago. I haven't actually used Claude Minerva or anybody since then. I'm hoping I didn't leave them all in that. Uh, let's see, seasonal, 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 there's Kai, seasonal, and Riley. Okay, yes. All right, they're good. All right, sorry. Sorry for breaking up the story. I should have checked that before I started. I didn't. All right, so back to story. With uh, actions speak louder. I thought you were up to one of your usual schemes. Given up already? Minerva! I haven't given up. It's just... 
I don't know what to say to the others. I feel like I have to say something to bring us together and raise morale, but I can't find the right words. <laughs> if you can't do the job, I could take your place. Maybe that would be for the best. Oh, come on, Claude. Have some freaking confidence, dude. <laughs> you absolute imbecile! Wow, that flipped around quickly. <laughs> The right words? I thought you had a spine, but I suppose I've overestimated you again. You think a motivational speech will win this war? I didn't pass up a promotion for you to just talk. You're here now because of your intelligence, your wit. No matter what you faced, you found a way through. You led your squad through each and every victory. You already have what it takes to get this crew to fight for you. And it damn well isn't your way with words. Minerva. You have one thing I don't. You didn't lead your friends to their deaths. I will not tolerate failure. If you want to prove yourself, do it through action, not words. Action. Right. You're exactly right. Thank you, Minerva. I feel like some kind of fog is lifted in my mind. I suppose you just needed a good impact to knock it loose. Wait. Fog? That's it! Fog! Why didn't I think of this sooner? Pardon? Hey, you attack why the fog's going on. That works. Thank you, Minerva. I wouldn't have figured it out without you. Excuse me. I have to see the captain. Well... Whatever's gotten him so worked up, at least he's come to a decision. Honestly, he really is an imbecile. You got a soft spot for him, don't you? <laughs> Alright, reckless bravery. What the hell's going on? What's with the assembly? What do you think? The army boy with a stick up his ass, here to give a big, inspiring speech. Of course! Hey Kai, what you doing over there? <sighs> hey, seriously, what's going on? Everyone, I apologize for how sudden this is. I'd like to propose a new plan to get past the Sea Fortress. Just hear me out. The core of their defenses is their high power artillery. Hey. Neutralize that first. Sorry about that. The plan is to use air balloons to drop troops in from above and seize control of the emplacements. At the same time, the Centurion will make a frontal assault and charge directly toward the fortress. What? Soon, a dense fog is going to cover the entire fort. That'll be our chance to infiltrate it. The wind should be steady enough for balloons, even in the fog. Visibility won't be good, but we can land on target. I've already received the captain's approval. We just have to get ready. When the time comes... Wait, the captain actually approved this? Yeah, this seems kind of like a crazy plan. Yes, he did. I like it. Are you insane, Claude? How could you think this is a good idea? How could the captain sign off on it? You want to drop us into a fort? We're barely equipped! How can we take out the artillery like this? We won't even have a secure escape route. And you're just going to send the ship charging forward? A head-on firefight won't do us any good. Even if we win, it'll be a Pyrrhic victory. The losses would be too much. We'd have no chance of taking the capital. My plan's the most realistic option we have. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. Brass? I was just thinking I wanted to let off some steam. Been cooped up in this goddamn ship for too long anyway. They're so proud of their heavy artillery, huh? I want to see their faces when I break it in half. What? Those of you willing to fight, come with me. I'll explain the op in more detail. Alright. 
Count me in. If we turn back now, we'll be the laughing stock of the Federation. Damn right. The Centurion can make it through anything. All right, then let's do this. Hmm. Nice assist there, Raz. <laughs> well, it was enough to get a compliment out of you. Well, we got kind of mixed feelings on this. Alright, so the fog descends. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's the marine base we're going after. The fog hasn't rolled in yet, but... It shouldn't be long now. Oh, look! From the north! Wind talk comes through for us again. Okay, everyone ready? Let's go. You know, I love the fact that Claude like got super depressed. He <laughs> like gained store uh, the psychic ability to predict the weather. Wait, Claude. Miles, are you really going through with this? This plan is completely insane. It's suicide. What an outcome. Are you that scared of death? I'm a soldier, Claude. I'm not afraid to die if I have to. I am. Huh? I'm scared. Not just for myself. I'm always afraid that my friends are gonna get hurt or killed. Then why are you... I said a new song. We hadn't heard this one. Because I'm not alone. I'd be too afraid to do it alone. But if I've got everyone behind me, I know we can do it. Reminding myself that we're all in this together gives me the strength to do the impossible. Isn't that how we made it through all our battles? Claude, time to go. All right, so... All right, so mar marine maritime infl infiltration. Okay, so let's get this started. See what we got going on here. We have our next mission. Your target is Fort Gears Brooks Artillery. Captain Wallace, you'll be leading the drop team in the Via. In Viva Hot Air Balloon. You won't be at liberty to set up camp, so choose your teammates judiciously. I suggest you take Lancers with you. They'll make short work of the cannons. Meanwhile, the Centurion will continue advancing at a steady pace. That's why it's vital you destroy their artillery before the Centurion is in range. Once that's done, the drop team will have to escape the fort as quickly as possible. We'll send in an extraction team to help. Lieutenant Victor will lead the extraction team, so she cannot join the drop team. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, whoa. Okay, so we gotta destroy both cannons. Quad dies, two turns pass with the west cannon active, five turns pass with the east cannon active. This is, this is, sounds complicated, really complicated. Hmm. All right, so we'll bring Jimmy, Got it. Gertrude. Okay, so we can only deploy to here. Uh Damn it, I wish I would have kept the damn star on her. <sighs> yeah, we'll bring her. 
All right, so hopefully this does, doesn't go all out of the joint. Hopefully we got this. We realize how dangerous this mission will be, so I wish you and your squad the best of luck. Take out the cannons before they can open fire on the Centurion. Let's go, everyone! All right, looks like a safe landing. Is everyone okay? Ah, damn it! I think I broke my ass! <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot more spread out than we planned. Probably thanks to the fog. Not what I call a running start. Well, this was our first paradrop in actual combat. I figured it wouldn't go perfectly. We can use this to our advantage. We can act as decoys for each other and confuse the enemy. Head to the artillery and pick your route carefully. Alright, so we're all over the place. This fog really is dense. If I move carefully, I might be able to sneak in closer. Okay. Heavy fog. A thick heavy fog is reducing visibility in the lower levels of the fortress. Your field of vision is limited inside the fog, and outside it's blocked off completely. Ah. Use the fog to stay hidden, but be careful not to stumble upon the enemy. Okay. Alright, so we gotta find a cannon. Is this the cannon? Alright, so... Nobody's over here. If we capture a base, can we pull more people in? I wonder. Where's Raz? Oh, he's all the way up there. So is a Lancer. Hmm. I'm not sure where to start out at here. Um. All right. Well. Hold up. I'm going to save just in case we screw this up. Alright, so that's done. I got this. Aha. Make sure that the wounded are kept warm. Get down. Idiots. Their breath gives away their position. Wide open! Engaging. Get out of there, Raz. Okay, yeah, that that's not good. Let's see here. God, they're all spread all over the place. Moving out. Ow. There. Too easy. That was wonderful. Another job well done. Keep on. like to take him out, but I don't know if I can get him. Here comes the pain. The enemy has begun their I'm invincible. Eat lead. Great job. I knew you had oh. 
Alright, so that's done. Alright, let's see if we can find this freaking grenade or now. Oh, it's not that way. Be careful when handling and I can't go back up. Alright, so just, just hang out here for a second, Raz, while I figure out what to do. Commencing attack. Alright, Claude. To say, come on, dude. All right. no! Where is he? Oh, oh shit! <sighs> Just tell me if the cold's got you. Okay. I don't know what the hell huh? shot me. Okay, so he's above me. All right. My turn. Found them. Let's see if we can get the shock trooper out of the way. I've got a clear shot at your head. Ow. Oh, scout. Never mind. Alrighty, did it! They're good. The enemy has begun their counterattack. <sighs> Shit, I went the wrong way. Ah, son of a bitch. Okay, so he's up there. And we can't see him. Uh, I can see him, but I can't see him. Oh, crap! That's bad. That's that's actually pretty bad. The terrain's bound to give us the advantage. Okay, uh... We're here to kill him out, so we don't get killed. 